Uh, okay, so my name is Ritesh Yadav and uh, I've been working with ThoughtWorks for four and a half years now. Uh, I have total IT experience of nine years uh, working with the different companies uh, as a quality analyst. Uh, so how to reduce defects? Uh, that's what my talk about. Uh, so first, uh, I'm going to talk about our three amigos. Uh, does anyone know who all these three amigos are? Uh, so these are BA, QA, and DAB, basically. So um, I'm going to talk about like uh, what are the roles of uh, QA in, in the whole process. Uh, what what mostly people think like uh, majority of people now now think that QA should be involved from the beginning. Uh, of, uh, of your uh, software development life cycle. But we really don't use uh, QA as as a, as a uh, important part of the team. Uh, we just ask them to do the testing for us, uh, just give them the uh, story to test, but uh, uh, there's um, more than more than more than to that, right? Uh, so I'm gonna talk about those things. Uh, so, all the three key people have a different opinions and different uh, views about the about the product and the story which you are going to develop. So if you if you talk about uh, those, so uh, your BAs they talk in terms of the requirement and the acceptance criteria, like what what should be what should uh, that that whole thing should be doing, but they don't talk about that technical priorities like what technologies that we should be using. Uh, what are the complications around the systems and all those sort of things? Develop, like developers talk in terms of code. Like they talk about the technical aspects of, of the code of the product and uh, uh, what should we be using as a technology stack, what we should be doing around that. Uh, and QAs, QAs uh, talks about the use case, that how how that user is going to use that, what will be the useful way of uh, uh, making the product and all those scenarios, they talk about all those sort of things, which uh, no, no other person doesn't talk about. So all these three people have different uh, point of views and they have different uh, uh, different way of thinking around the systems. Uh, that's that's the good part, right? Uh, so how we, how we can leverage all these three people to make uh, our software, uh, good quality software, and reduce the defects before before uh, putting that into the, into the production or or in your uh, review into the your uh, your client. So uh, what what you can do like uh, there's a pre planning meeting which you can you can do uh, before doing the, the planning of your iteration or uh, planning for for the release. Uh, you can always do a pre planning meeting where you can discuss the ideas which every each and everyone has. So. BA has an idea that this was this gonna be the product, and the dev has some other idea that this is gonna be the product and product, and the QA has some other idea that this is gonna be the product. <clears throat> but all three have a different, a different, uh, a different perspective and different uh, a picture of the product. But that's not the complete picture, right? Uh, because all three are different uh, thinking from their their own perspective. So that's why the, the meeting is important, right? When you the, the main the main uh, object of the meeting is to come on the same page, making that same understanding about the product. So uh, the pre-planning meeting, after the pre-planning meeting, what will happen? The all three have will have the same idea. Now they are completing the whole picture. They the QA and giving their own point of view, devs are giving their own point of view, and BA has their own point of view. So now they have a complete picture, which can, which will, be, uh, which will reduce the defects, which are not like uh, sometimes we get uh, defects as a this was a missed requirement. This was a missed requirement. We, we, we never talked about it. So you are going to you are going to reduce those kind of issues when when you are when you are done with, with the test story or the product. So that that this pre planning meeting will help you with doing that. You don't necessarily need to do the pre-planning, or you can do that in a planning meeting as well. But it depends, right? Who all joined in the planning meeting? So let's say your product owner is joining in that meeting, or your client is joining in that meeting. It it is not it's like it will be a long, lengthy meeting because you are going to discuss each and everything, and 
uh, you're going to discuss like what 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 should be there in the story and all the things. So it, it's up to you whether you want to do a pre-planning meeting or you do want to do that in planning meeting. But it's it's just it's, it's good to have one 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 meeting around this. Now, uh, so what would be the outcome of this this meeting? Right, there will be a story card for that story, and uh, what the story card will will contain? It it will have all the exception criteria which are discussed in that 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 uh, that meeting. So they have all the story criteria, story acceptance criteria in their story, so that when when you are this when when developer is developing that that uh, story, they they know that what what we are going to test. Uh, similarly, uh, there will be a demo notes. So like let's say if that is a technical story, uh, you want uh, develop uh, developer technical technical notes in that story, <clears> so that if any other developer is picking up that story for for development, they know that what what has been discussed during during the meeting. Then you will have all the tests in that. So like you are, you will go and you know, write your test, like what you are going to test in that story, apart from that acceptance criteria. Uh, there can be no test, or there can be a different test, which are like integration test or something like that. Uh, so those tests will be in the story card. So now you have the complete story card, which which talks about all the aspect of that that particular story. Once you are done with that. Uh, you will start uh, when you are you are you are in iteration. Uh, you uh, do a different ceremony. So one of the ceremony is kickoff. In the the kickoff, uh, what you do? Uh, so BA, QA, and Dev all three uh, meet together and uh, on on the Dev machine and discuss about the story again. So they discuss about understanding what the developer is going to develop and uh, what you are going to test after that. And that meeting should not be more than ten minutes. Like it should not be like half an hour meeting. You are discussing about the same story which you have discussed earlier. It just to understand like because you when you uh, you you wrote the all acceptance criteria, tests and dev notes after the meeting, and so that you just want to confirm that everything is uh, now is on the same. Everyone is on the same page. So this is the meeting about that. So that's why that's why it should not be more than ten minutes. After that, that the the, the development is is uh, uh, complete and everything is done. Uh, you do the dust check, which is uh, uh, again a QA, BA, and Dev meet on the Dev machine, and do the testing on the bots. So they verify the functionality. They they verify all the acceptance criteria and tests which you have mentioned in the story. They should be passing on on this machine. Then only you will go. You are going to push that code into the QA environment. So it doesn't make sense if those test those those test cases or those acceptance criteria are not are not uh, not passed on your box. Then it doesn't make sense to do the testing. So you do that very you do the verification on their box, and then only they pull, uh, push your code into the the repository. And again, it should not be more than ten minutes. It's not like like you are doing everything like you are again you are doing some exploratory testing on his box. It should not be like that. Uh, it should be a time bound uh, a time bound activity and should not be more than 10 minutes once uh, you are done with that uh, and uh, they 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 check in their code into into your repository uh, you will be doing your own testing so during the testing what what should be doing what you should be doing uh, so you you should be discussing your test parameter uh, so everyone knows our test parameter what is test parameter no 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 cuz out no so a uh, test parameter is uh, the concept like um, you write your test at different level. So you write a uh, unit uh, unit uh, unit test. Oh, uh, unit integration. Unit integration, system. yes, and system and then uh, okay. unit. Yeah. But in the test parameter, uh, you say all most of the tests should be near unit level. Yeah. And then then in the in the middle layer there will be integration tests and other tests, and you should have minimal tests on the UI layer, because the UI layer test takes more time. Then unit test, and unit test gives you the faster feedback, and uh, uh, UI test uh, more the maintain maintainability is is less in UI test than than unit test. So that's why you you should be maintaining that test test parameter, and you should be discussing with the dev, right? So you let's say uh, you have some tests which you want to perform, but those tests can be performed in the unit test. Then you should talk to your devs and ask them to write those unit tests rather than you writing that those tests on the UI layer. Uh, for example, um, if you have an API for login, right? 
uh, there will be a task uh, for logging without a user and password or with invalid user and password. Those tests should not be in your UI layer. These two tests you can perform in, 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 the, in the unit level because that's the logic where you are going to do that, right? You are, when you are asking for, for, the, for authentication, you are going to hit that API and that API will provide you authentication. So you don't, you need, you don't need to write those kind of tests on the UI layer. Those are, those tests should be in the unit level. So, so you, you should be always talking about the, those, those tests with your developer and try to push your test down, down the layer. Then again, uh, ask for the additional test scenarios. Discuss your test scenario with the developer. Uh, ask them what, what they have touched. So if you, when you are developing the story, what different areas they have touched uh, while developing the story. That will give you more understanding about like what you can test and how can you find different things into the system. So because uh, if you are if you're just thinking about the story, that, that, that might be just a smaller part of, of the system. But we have touched different layers, different APIs, different uh, systems, and that those systems might might be affected by your story. So you should be always talking about uh, those uh, like different uh, uh, what what scenario I should I, I should be testing. Do you think uh, these are the enough tests, or should you I uh, should be testing something else as well? So you should always asking those questions to developers. Again, uh, write end-to-end -end URL uh, tests. Right? I was I was saying that should not be writing like dual level tests on the UI layer. Uh, first of all, if you are writing thousand, thousand tests on the UI layer, you are not gonna maintain those. You, at, at, the, at the one point of time, you will say, oh, these tests are just, just failing, uh, mark them, uh, do not run them, uh, or do, just discard those tests. It doesn't, it, those tests will not give you any value. So you should not be writing uh, unit level tests on the UI layer. You should be always writing a user journey like if you are if you are testing uh, any any shopping website or or any other 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 system, you should be always writing those user journeys. Like right? uh, a shopping, um, if if a user is there on your on your shopping website, he he's not there just to do login and log out. He's not gonna do that. He's not going to test your login login functionality. He's there to buy something or he's there to uh, browse something on the website. He's going to log in. Uh, browse something. If he, he like that, he will add into the cart and pick the payment and done. That's that's what you are. You should be writing on your UI layer test. So always write uh, user journey on on the UI layer test. So I will end my talk with this statement, which is alone we can do so little, and together we can do so much. So. If you are discussing these things with your, with your developer, with your BA, your product owner, you will be able to reduce defects uh, significantly rather than uh, rather than adding those defects in the, in the later when you are doing the QA of uh, the story. So thank you. That's my talk. 15 minutes. Okay. Wow. <laughs> thank you. Uh, so the, I thought you were just warming us up. I was getting into the uh, <laughs> interval. I was a little snack in. Carry on. Okay. So, uh, any any question about uh, about these things, uh, or you have any concern like this should be, uh, this will not work, or uh, this is a uh, this is not the right way of doing that, or you you have any other ideas which you want to share uh, to reduce the effects. So, if if you're coding, if you're developing and testing a user story and don't necessarily is it right if i think you don't necessarily need to write a user journey to every user story is that the right way of thinking um so uh, so your 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 stories are not uh, the complete functionality right you are trying you write a story in very very small part you need to try to slice your stories uh, as minimal as possible so uh user journey will is not your user story, right? It's a it's a it's a combination of your user stories. Yeah. So you have like ten stories, which will be which will cover uh, covered by one one story in the, in the test. So you can always try to fit your uh, test in, in a user story which is already existing. Yeah. So uh, you you can do that way. Right? 